Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on September 10th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and a look at world weather. We'll be starting out here looking at the last 48 hours imagery of our sun brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. No major solar flares to speak of but a couple large plasma filaments taking off from the surface of the northern hemisphere. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, there was plasma filament dancing around the surface coming in as well. And we have multiple sunspot regions and we've seen uh, M-class solar flares and strong C-class solar flares over the past two days, but also a pretty large event on the backside of our sun. This is a look at the last 48 hours outgoing Here's a closer look at the plasma filament that danced around the northeast region of our sun and then slapped back into the surface. And we're going to be watching those over the next little while, looking at multi-spectrum major events in sequence the last 48 hours. Also noting out the plasma filaments that are building southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere of our sun. And here's another look at 171 angstroms where we can see active eight sunspots and a few of them clustered in the outgoing region. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide, multiple sunspot regions and a tight grouping of some more there outgoing. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Current solar winds speeds are coming in at 355 kilometers per second. Solar X reflex remains in the heightened C range after seeing strong C class solar flares, but notable there the telemetry dipping down after each flare. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2 right now as we have a small space weather event heading our way. Having a look there at NOAA Space Weather Prediction Spiral and then ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. This is where we see the large outgoing backside CME. Not sure what happened on the backside of the sun, but it produced a very large coronal mass ejection. Another close look there. Luckily, that was not Earth facing. Having a look at Alaska 3, showing the last three days of events. There's that backside solar flare creating a full halo CME in an outgoing backside direction. Amazing images here brought to you by Lasco at Soho. Want to thank NASA and all of the collaborators here, visual artists. This is our sun. producing coronal mass ejections over a three-day period, large backside, full halo CME right there. Cool stuff. Now let's get to earthquakes for the past 24 hours, as we're going to start out with the most recent here, 4.7 in Iraq. Uh, that's not Virgin Islands. There we go, Iraq, 4.7. And as well, another 4.2 earthquake rocking Morocco. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Multiple lives lost. Devastating earthquake. 4.5 and a 4.4 there. Northeast India plate up into Mongolia. And then Japan seeing a sizable 5.3 here. Southern Japan Island. And as well, a deep earthquake there. Northern Japan, 390 kilometer depth. Seismicity continuing through the Banda Sea and Papua New Guinea. And then the Tonga region and the Kermadex seeing a 5.3 there. Watch for that region to pop again. We're going to see more activity soon there. Overlooking South America, Argentina there reporting a 4.6. And as well, Chile northward to Bolivia with a 4.2. 4.7 earthquake here. Venezuela reported as well. Lots of activity just uh, west and south of Hurricane Lee at the Dominican Republic. 
as well. 4.6 there, triple junction, and then looking across the United States. No major events to talk about. Pretty quiet, but notable there. Illinois, Indiana border with a 2.7, and as well 3.0 there, California. Alaska, largest through the region, 4.9, but lots of activity through the region. Minor at best. Having a look at USGS, they're reporting 193 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. And that's across this whole map. I'm going to zoom in here to the United States where they did see some minor activity at Yellowstone and as well Lima, Montana. And then notable activity all around California here, the geysers. And as well Lake Tahoe, Northern California there. But nothing major to report, no major swarms. Also want to collaborate here, Canadian earthquakes Having a look at the Canadian site, showing a small cluster there, St. Lawrence River, and then across the West Coast, lots of minor activity there through the Hecate Strait, West Coast, BC. Now let's have a browse at the last seven days for shakers across the world. I'm going to take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying these updates and the information shared. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody in Northern Africa, Morocco, large 6.8 earthquake, largest they've seen in 130 years, large earthquake there, Chile this week, lots of activity through the Central Pacific Plate, and as well the Kermadex seeing a 6.2, heads up, stay aware and prepared, much love everybody. Having a look at the SO2 forecast, this is all emissions from volcanoes or large wildfires which are burning across the BC interior right now, northern BC. But looking at these forecast models, intense SO2 right up the west coast of British Columbia and then flooding into Alberta and the Northwest Territories. Notable, all of the SO2 coming out of southern United States and as well through California. Very thick particulates. So heads up, air quality will be pretty nasty through BC and Alberta. But notable there, all this SO2 coming out of California and as well Mexico. Mexico, I understand. California, well, eh, something may be brewing there. Having a look across the West Pacific and Southeast Asia, Lots of SO2 coming out of Kamchatka, Eastern Russia, and as well, big player there, China, India, and through parts of Saudi Arabia. Now let's have a little look here at Kamchatka, looking at satellite imagery. Shevelich volcano spewing out tons of SO2 with a large eruption yesterday. These are satellite images by the hour. There was a large eruption at the Shevelich volcano and all of the volcanoes through that region have been spewing a ton of SO2 under our atmosphere recently. Overlooking Africa, dust storm off the coast as well. Invest area 92. We've also got tropical storm Amargo. And of course, we've got Hurricane Lee. Packing winds now of 175 kilometers per hour. Category 2 hurricane. And it looks like it's going to ramp up into a Category 4 here over the next 24 hours as it tries to move westward. But uh, something is pulling it up. Big high-pressure ridge into the Central Atlantic. We've also got Tropical Depression, Jova. And no major typhoons to talk about anymore in the West Pacific. We've got 90W, low-pressure system, and as well 92W. So things have calmed down. We had 10 tropical storms across the world the other day. But this is the big story here. Look at all this wildfire smoke spewing into our atmosphere. Fires through central and northern BC interior. And as well, Fort Smith, Northwest Territories, Yellowknife. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that may be affected by these wildfires and as well the insane and nastiness uh, that the uh, wildfires do to our air quality. 
big changes. Let's see if there's any relief in sight. Having a look over Australia and Southeast Asia, low pressure system grazing southern continent of Australia, low pressure center grinding through Myanmar this week and it keep the monsoon scene going. As well, low pressure system here affecting the United Kingdom. Storms through Central Africa. And then watch in the long range forecast, 16th into the 17th. Some big systems brewing in the Atlantic. Hurricane Lee will be making landfall. Nova Scotia, Canada. But notable, all these systems that are just getting so big and ferocious. Having a look over North America, low pressure system before Hurricane Lee and as well a northern low coming down. Going to cool things off. But watch for some big waves associated with this system. Having a look at wind gusts right now, most likely will be a Category 2 hurricane, so possibly 150 to 175 kilometer per hour winds. And then look at the waves that will be coming with this. Watch for storm surge all across the southern coast of Nova Scotia. And then a quick browse here, look at our southern hemisphere versus the northern. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.